Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I will show you how to play DS games from your SD card. You will need custom firmware. First, we are going to put some files on, on the SD card. I'm going to use an FTP client. We go to this website that will be linked in the description. We click the download button and download the latest version. Now we can go here, Instruction for custom firmware users, and download the launcher. Once both are downloaded, we can open a file manager and extract them. Now we can delete the zip files. Now we need a FTP client. I will be using Turbo FTP. And on the 3DS and FTP client as well. I will be using FTPDB. You can download it on TitleDB on FBI. Now we are going to configure the settings. I'm going to delete the connection and create a new connection. FTP type. The name can be any name, it doesn't matter. The server is the IP from your 3DS, your local IP. So, it's this one here. And the port is um, usually 5000. If not, just enter the one you got. Here, we save it and now we can open it. When prompted for a password, we don't enter nothing. And now we are on the SD card of our console. We navigate to the download folder on our, on our mm, tablet, phone, computer, I don't know. <laughs> and open toilet menu folder. Go to the CIA folder and copy these two files to the CIS folder on the SD card. Okay, now we can navigate back and copy the um, NDS folder to the root of the SD card. As this folder has a lot of folders inside it, it will take a while. Please be patient. Once it is finished, we can now navigate to our, um, our um, phone, tablet, whatever you are using, and go to... Sorry. and go to your uh, download folder. Now we can open the launcher folder and copy the CIA folder, the CIA file, sorry, to the CIA uh, folder in your SD card. And now you have to have the ROMs ready because we are going to place them in the SD card. I can't link you any ROM on the description, but I know ja uh, that you will be able to find them. Just create a ROM folder, ROMs folder on the root of the SD card and inside an NDS folder. There you can place your ROMs. Use a ROMs for, from the games you own. I don't support piracy. We are done with uh, the files. Now we can go back to the home menu and open FBI. Navigate to the SD card, CIS folder, and now we are going to install Game Booter and Normal. 
Launcher is later. And finally, the launcher. Now we can go to the home menu and see the new app that we installed. We can open it. And I prefer to um, click yes here in order to just um, go ahead and start it without um, having to select any option. This will take a while, so be patient. Okay, so now we are here on the root of the SD card and we have to navigate to the ROMs folder. We just search for it. And now NDS. And here should be all the games that you placed. I'm gonna be running Diddycon Racing. And you will see that it works perfectly, just exactly like the cartridge. It has longer loading times, but I think it is worthy. You see that the game runs perfectly. Now we are going to check if the cartridge one runs exactly like this. You don't need any flashcard or any physical game to mm, do this. Just mm, I would recommend using the games you mm, legitly own. You see, it works the same perfectly. I hope you like this video. This video was useful to you. Leave me a comment, subscribe, leave a like, all those things. Bye.